every word has a heart of its own it has its own essence it has what i like to call its own soul if you want to improve your vocabulary if you want the words to reveal their secrets to you you should go looking for the soul of the word automatically the words will start revealing themselves to you the soul is the most important part of that word like in master chef australia uh, i learned this phrase from the dean to say uh, what's the hero of the dish the hero of the dish is this ingredient that means that should stand out and everything else should kind of not be more the hero of the dish is the most important thing in that dish so like that the soul of the world is the main thing the first is this the dish thing we learn this word in the our eyes often in context of sehenswürdigkeit so we learn the sehenswürdigkeit and besichtigen and we often understand it by saying to visit the places worth seeing to visit the monument and in our mind we associate it with saying the sehenswürdigkeit and besichtigen or besuchen it's good enough for the our eyes you can ask say if you associate that meaning but going higher in the higher levels you must be able to differentiate the, the heart and soul of besichtigen is in this part is sich sich means sight and so besichtigen is a verb made out of sight so it has to be something that you see and it's different from sehen because it's slightly deeper higher so it's not just a simple thing that it's seen properly and as seen so you can besicht it it's carefully properly again like you would besicht it in for example the Taj Mahal or the Madurai temple or the pyramids of Egypt or anything you can even besicht it in a house think of other words that come with sich you might have heard minor ansicht nach and we associate it by saying according to my opinion minor minor nach it's correct but ansicht means view in my view minor ansicht i think of other words that come together with sich say aussicht aussicht von dem balkon so view from the balcony sich is sight and all the words that come from there will revolve around it and we should go looking for that soul in position. The second word they want to look at is Wiedervereinigung. Wiedervereinigung means reunification. Uh, in context of Germany, um, it's the Wiedervereinigung Deutschlands that happened in 1990. Let's try to understand how this word works. So we have Wiedervereinigung. Wieder means again. and in reunification it's the re so let's you know the way you go to the heart and soul of a word is by cutting off the fringes cutting off means ignoring for a while till we go to the heart if you go looking for the heart that means you ignore it let's ignore reader for a moment because we understand it's only the re so i need to go you will know that the suffix here is ung 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 is a suffix used to make nouns from let's say words so the verb is vereinigen we know that the endung the an is the endung for the infinitive let's remove it so we have vereinig this is the fair is a prefix so a prefix will often come and change the meaning of the word by giving it some flavor but it is not 
a hard and soul. So prefixes are not the hard and soul, they modify the hard and soul. So we can remove them. So we have Ainus. Once that the meaning starts getting a little clearer. Actually, IG is also a suffix that is used in many adjectives. So we can remove that and what we have is I. The heart and soul of the word for Aini or the leader for Aini is I. All of us understand that I means one. The for Ainigan means to become one. Leader for Ainigan means to become one again. And that's the reunification. Leader for Ainigan. Understanding the heart and soul of a word makes us aware of its over meaning. And the pronunciation often supports this idea. The heart and soul of the word should be emphasized. So when you see this, it's fatine. So it's leader fatine. The heart should be stressed. That's true for all the words in the previous example. And Look for the heart and soul of every word. Try to understand the meaning based on that. And then remember to pronounce the heart and soul with a slight more emphasis. Ultimately, the heart beats over there. As you as here on the next one.